Hello students, now in this session we'll do revision on playing with numbers. Okay, the, it's the first question today. The first question for this session is write the factors, fine. So write the factors of number A is 64 and number B is 120. Okay, so write the factors of 64 and 120. So we'll get the factors of 64. That is 64 is 1 into 64, 64, it is divisible by 2, so 2, 32 is a 64, it is not divisible by 3, but it is divisible by 4, 4, 16 is a 64, it is also divisible by 8, 8, 8 is a 64, not divisible by 9, so these are the all the required factors, so we will write factors of 64, 64 are 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32 and 64. So these are all the factors of 64 students. Okay, now let's move on to the second part of the question. The second part of the question we have 120. So again same way, 1 into 120 is 120, it is divisible by 2. 2 into 60 is 120, it is divisible by 3 also. 3 into 40 is 120, divisible by 4 also. 4 into 30 is 120, divisible by 5 also. So 5 into 24 equals to 120, divisible by 6 also. 6 into 20 equals to 120, not divisible by 7, but divisible by 8 also. 8 into 15 is 120. So this, these are the factors of 120. So therefore, factors of 120 is equals to what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 15, 20, 24, 30, 40, 60 and 120. My God, so many factors. Isn't it? Now let's move on to the second sum. Second sum is we'll have to find the prime factors of 1824. Okay, the same way we have to do the prime factor addition. So 1824, so it is divisible by 2, 2 9s are, 2 1s are, 2 2s are, again it is divisible by 2, 2 4s are 8, 2 5s are 10, 2 6s are 12, again it is divisible by 2, 28, again divisible by 2, 1 1 4, again divisible by 2, that is 57, now divisible by 3, 3 19s are, and 19 1s are, so now we will write the prime factors. So, the prime factors of 1, 8, 2, 4 is equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 into 3 into 19. Fine. So, these are the prime factors of 1, 8, 2, 5. Okay. So, let's move on to sum number 3. Now sum number 3 is write all the prime numbers between 1 to 20. These are very important questions, for sh very short questions actually. So write all the prime numbers between 1 to 20. So we know that the prime numbers are the numbers which are only divisible by 1 or by itself. Fine, so we have to see that which are the numbers which are only divisible by 1 and by itself. So the first number is 2, then 3, then 5. Then 7. No, 9 is not the prime number because 9 is also divisible by 3. So do not make this mistake. So 7, after 7, what is the prime number? 11. Then 13. Then 17 and plus 19. So these are all the prime numbers between 1 to 20. Okay, students. So now let's move on to sum number 4. Now, this is also a very important question and very interesting also. Now, question number four, what we have, express the numbers, these two numbers, as the sum of two odd numbers. That means we have to split this number, we have to split this number into two numbers. But those two numbers should be what? Odd numbers. And the sum should be 32. So, we have to think, so what is the number? So, we can write 31 plus 1, isn't it? So, 31 plus 1 is what? 32. And even 31 is also an odd number, 1 is also an odd number. So there are so many combinations, so many combinations, students. 
that you can write okay it is just i am showing 31 plus 1 if you have any other combination then you can write no problem with that fine so now what is the well, how to write 40 then you can write 13 plus 23 no 27 you can write 13 plus 27 fine 13 is also an odd number 27 is also an odd number so if you add this two number we'll get 40 isn't it there is other combinations also but they have asked only one combination so i've given the one combination if you get another combination also no problem but remember that the two numbers should be odd because it is said two odd numbers fine and the sum should be 40 these are the two odd numbers the sum is equals to 32 this is this type of sums can come in examination okay so now let's move on to sum number five now another very important question find the ACF of the three numbers okay find the ACF of the three numbers I know that most of you know this but consider this type of sums all the sums which I'm doing students is very very important now 12 we'll do the prime factorization individually so 2 6 are 2 3 are 3 1 are now 45 3 15 are 3 5 are 5 ones are now 75 3 25 are 5 5 are and 5 ones are. now we'll write all the prime factors that is 12 is equals to 2 into 2 into 3 into 1 what about 45 Oof. 3 into 3 into 5 into 1 and 75 3 into 5 into 5 into 1. Now, first of all, we'll find the common factors, isn't it? So, what is the common factors? You see that 3 is present. Okay. This is a common factor and 1 is also the common factor. We don't see any other common factors are there. So, the common factor is 3, 1. So, what is ACF then? What is ACF? The product of all the common factors, that is 3 into 1, that is 3. Okay. So, this is sum number 5. Now let's move on to sum number 6. Now we have find the LCM of 160, 170 and 90. So that would be what? So 160, 170, 90. These all numbers are divisible by 2 as because the unit digit is 0. So 280s are, 285s are, 245s are. Now this number is divisible by 2, 2, 40 is a 85, 45, these are not divisible by 2. So this is again divisible by 2, 2, 20 is a 85, 45, again it is divisible by 2, 2, 10 is a 85, 45, 2, 5 is a 85, 45, now this number is divisible by 3, so 3, 5, 85, 3, 15 is a 45, again it is divisible by 5, 85, 3, 5 is a 15, now finally we will divide it into 5, 5 ones are 5, 5, 17 is a 5 ones are and then with 17, 1, 1 and 1, because 17 is a prime number, fine, so what is the LCM then, so LCM is equals to 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 3 is there, 1, 5 is there, and 1, 17 is there. So, it's a big LCM. Fine, it's a big LCM. So, the answer would be 2, 4, 4, 8, 0 students. Okay? So, this will carry 3 marks, this type of questions. Fine? So, let's move on to sum number 7. Now, the next question is, express the numbers, these two numbers, in three prime numbers that means we did with two odd numbers now this time we have to express we have to split this number into three numbers those three numbers would be prime numbers and the sum should come as 31 okay so i would like to give you the numbers then the first number i will take x7 then 11 and then 13 you see all the numbers are prime numbers and if you add these three numbers you will get as 39 this is how you exactly have to do okay now, it is not that you have to take consecutive prime numbers only, but the three numbers need to be prime numbers, okay, and the sum should be equals to 31. And one thing more, repetition is not allowed. Repetition, repetition, repetition is not allowed. 
that means what you cannot write 11 11 13 13 repetition is not allowed fine only one prime number okay you cannot repeat the prime numbers fine this is a very important thing you have to remember now what about 14 we can write 14 as 2 plus 5 plus 7 okay students now let's move on to the last sum that is sum number 8 so this is the last question and very interesting one it will carry one marks why 30 and 415 are co-prime co-prime what is the meaning of co-prime the numbers which shares only one as a common factor so we have to check it so we have to do what we have to do the prime factorization 2 15s are 3 5s are 5 1s are now you have to do same thing with 415 so is it divisible by 3 4 plus 1 is 5 or no not divisible by 3 then 5 5 8s are 40 okay and then it will come with 83 only because 83 is a prime number okay now we'll just write all the prime factors of 30 2 into 3 into 5 into 1 and what about 450 5 into Achha, why 30 and 45 are co-prime numbers uh, you have to check if sorry we have to check the question is a little bit wrong if 30 and 415 are co-prime this is the right question fine then 5 83 and 1 okay so now see what is the common factor so what we said what is the common factor what is the co-prime numbers the numbers which shares only one as a common factor only one only one as a common factor but here we are getting five also as a common factor so since the common factors are more than one that is only if they would have only one then would have, when then we would have said that 30 and 415 are co-prime but instead we are getting one more factor that is five and one fine hence we will say hence 30 and 415 are not co prime numbers okay students so thank you and god bless you all